This has been an absolutely fascinating evening, so let me not detain you with um, uh, some, some, some short remarks about uh, this evening. And first of all, uh, a very warm word of thanks to Joe for a fascinating and stimulating and challenging presentation. Um, there was one point um, in, in Joe's presentation where, and he, he re reiterated the, the, the point in the discussion debate we've just had, where um, he essentially talked about the volume of emissions that would be produced by India and China and the fact that it would dwarf any savings that we could make or any emissions that we undertook. And it, it does get you to that point where you think, well, why on earth should we bother doing anything about this? And that question lay at the heart of the debate that Parliament had about the climate change legislation, which we eventually were able to pass with, uh, with unanimity. And the reason why Parliament, I think, got to that point unanimously, why Parliament passed world-leading legislation on this question, was essentially to deploy leadership. And ultimately, whatever, you, whatever is said in this debate about whatever question, ultimately, like most things in life and in public policy, it comes down to leadership and whether we are prepared to exercise and to demonstrate that leadership. And uh, Joe very kindly talked about uh, the way in which Scots in the past had changed the world. And on the climate issue, we have an opportunity to change the world and to, to lead that debate, which we should assuredly take up. One of the great strengths, I think, that we have, and the question was touched on just among the, the, the questions that we discussed there, is about how we can ensure that the effective partnerships are created between different sectors of our economy. And one of the great strengths, I think, we have now in Scotland is such close proximity of discussion and action between our academic community and the business community in Scotland, obviously operating within a framework uh, produced by government. But I think the fact that the academic community is so closely immersed in the work of uh, the 2020 Climate Group, the fact that the business community are so immersed in that process, the fact that it's led by Ian um, with such determination, is just an indication that we have used one of the unique strengths of the size of Scotland as a country and the proximity of our community to basically draw all these factors together and to get the most out of that collaboration that emerges. Uh, that is vital because it is one of the routes into essentially the government's ambitions to reindustrialize the country through ensuring that on particularly the renewables and the low carbon opportunities, we are able in Scotland once again um, to create a strong and dynamic manufacturing base. And when I look at the leadership that's taken forward by a number of institutions in this field, um, notably by the University of Strathclyde and taking forward um, essentially the manufacturing applications of much of this thinking, it provides the platform for us to um, ensure that Scotland realises the uh, manufacturing and engineering capability that emerges. And the question of making sure we all have in Scotland the skills to, uh, to respond to that challenge um, is a factor that is uppermost in the consideration of ministers and indeed was the, the topic of conversation a number of discussions that I was involved in today where we are getting very good engagement between the business community and the academic community in ensuring that we can figure all of their propositions um, to achieve the right objectives. And Joe uh, also, um, I think, made a, a fascinating point, which again resonates today in terms of the debate that Parliament was having this afternoon on the contribution of the oil and gas sector to the Scottish economy, that I, I think, frankly, we understate and underplay the significance of what the oil and gas sector has delivered for Scotland, not just in terms of oil and gas revenues and all the rest of it, but the creation of a global industry based in the northeast of Scotland, an exporting industry, an engineering industry exporting phenomenally across the globe. And when I and my colleagues look at some of the products that are emerging from that research process, we can take great encouragement from what that industry anchored in the northeast of Scotland can actually deliver for our country in terms of global reach, and we have every intention of fulfilling that, uh, that uh, commitment. So I think tonight has drawn together a number of um, existing thoughts and challenging new thoughts that Joe has brought to us tonight, and 
uh, we will, as a country, consider them very fully and, uh, and very well. And I'm sure the, uh, the 2020 Climate Group will have experienced and, and learnt a great deal from tonight's discussions to inform their deliberations, which of course are of enormous assistance to, um, to the, the government in our work in shaping our future on many of these questions. Um, Joe has presented to us a, a very stimulating message tonight. Um, he's also said that um, we need to find uh, some new heroes, um, which I, I think is a, uh, and, and certainly uh, bringing forward a, a Hall of Fame that involves James Watt and Adam Smith is certainly the, um, the, 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 the Hall of Fame to, to talk of heroes. But I'm reminded that um, another American did us a great service by um, a guy called Arthur Herman, who wrote a, a rather modestly titled book, um, How the Scots Invented the Modern World. Um, and what's interesting about that is, A, the fact that anybody um, wrote a book which said how the Scots invented the modern world, which is an enormous compliment to our country and its intellectual capability and its intellectual exports. But interesting that it took an American to write a book, How the Scots Invented the Modern World, and nobody here decided to write the book about how the Scots invented the modern world. And I think in, in, in emulating um, the inspiration of Arthur Herman's book, which is a, a, a colossal and fascinating piece of work and an, a, 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 a production of enormous educational benefit for people in this country, it does demonstrate what Scotland can contribute to the world. I think we have contributed that leadership in terms of the approach on climate change. I think we can demonstrate it on the low carbon economy and on renewables. And our thinking in that respect and our ambitions have been uh, enhanced by the contribution that uh, Joe Lasseter has made to our deliberations tonight. And I ask you uh, to join me in warmly thanking Joe for a most inspiring contribution this evening. Thank you very much.